Hello everyone, welcome back to our channel. Today we're in Florida, we're in Port St. Lucie. We're checking out Manny's tank. Manny's been making a lot of noise on Instagram. He's got a beautiful 180 gallon tank. Invite us over to come check it out. So here we are, let's go inside, ask him a bunch of questions and let's see what the goodies are about. Let's go, come on. All right, Manny. Hey, how are you, buddy? Good, good, and you? Good, man. Thank you for having nice. us over, man. No problem. Nice so, to meet you. Yeah, so a lot of people have been talking about this tank. It looks beautiful on Instagram. We call it the <laughs> wall you. tank. The wall tank, okay. And I'm going to, before I even say one thing is, I'm going to put Manny into the meticulous club. I don't even have to look at his lighting or his filtration. This tank is immaculate. There's not a speck of dirt into this tank. I can tell with the little camera on the side, the power heads, you soak them. Yeah. Everything's staying <laughs> super, super clean and meticulous. So I'm definitely joining you in the club. I don't even have to look down there, but I'm sure we're going to look down there in a minute. Oh, yeah. So let me start with the questions. This tank, you told me it's a 180 gallon tank? 180, correct. Okay, and who makes this tank? Um, Planet Aquarium. Planet Aquarium? Yep. And how long has this tank been running? It's running around two years now. Two years? Two years, yep. And how long have you been in the hobby? Uh, I've started 2013. 13? And I'm starting with the 45 gallons and uh, I keep upgraded and upgraded and 90 gallons and now I decided to get big because I love quarter so so you've been in the hobby study for 10 years correct all correct. right so it's just uh when I purchased some, the small one I just start with a small one and I have an apartment so I don't have I don't have the space to Got get you. you know this this big one so now I purchase in the house I'm like this is the time to to upgrade, to upgrade to a bigger correct tank. correct and I have more fish and more quarter that's uh, my passion like I love coral, so. It shows, just like me. You were telling me you care for the fish, but not as much as you care for the <laughs> corals, right? Yes, yes, it's, I'm just more like coral guy, so. It shows, man. I mean, these corals are super, super happy, and I gotta start with the main question. Yeah. Where was the idea born to build a wall? So, I'm just seeing, and, and the page on the Instagram and, and YouTube, everybody have, like, a branches and, uh, like almost the same style. It's just because more for the fish. In yeah. my case, I'm just like coral guy. I'm, I like put more coral, and I'm just in my couch sitting in there. And I'm like, you know what? I, I want to keep adding, adding, adding. So I just keep adding, and like the way it looks, and I start putting corals in the top, and that is the way I start building my my aquarium. So, and I'm just like, I guess in shock because uh, I was thinking something simple. But uh, take time, you know, take take time and, and, and effort because I put a glue and all that kind of uh, rock. And it's not easy. It's not easy. When you want to put it in the tank, it's just, you don't know, you're going to fail in part and stuff. It's hard, but I, I love it, the way it looks. It and shows, man. It shows. You have a little bit of everything. I mean, you don't discriminate. <laughs> you go from super rare corals to star polyps just regular polyps, lobophilias. I mean, yeah. you have everything. Even some macros are starting to grow now. Correct, yeah, yeah, I'm sorry. I'm more LPS, but I love SPS too, and I just start putting and see how the coral reacted. I see in the top, it start doing better, so I'm just cutting and, and putting in pieces and, and leave all, all the top, I wanna leave it for SPS, and, and the bottom, I just wanna- But you're out of space it. now. Oh uh, yeah, <laughs> so soon it's gonna be my upgrade. Soon so, it's gonna be your upgrade. You thinking of a bigger tank? Yes, I'm, I'm looking for 450. Uh, this was nice. 180, and and it's like uh, Mr. Saltwater said, you know, sometimes you look the tank and, and and you see small, and you keep looking at, it and it's not small. It's 180. No. But I mean, it happened to me too when I first opened the store. I started with a 92 gallon, then it was a 180, then a 300, then a 500, then a 900. Wow. Then a 1500. Now we're into 4,000, and it's like, now the 4,000 is <laughs> starting not to look so big, you know? Are you gonna build another wall? Yes, I, yes, I'm going, yeah. I like That's that cool. style, I like, I, like, I like the style. I see like the fish can go, and all the tunnel I created, and the space. So All the caves are available for them yeah, to go everywhere and a lot of people want. think this this wall- is flat. Is flat, like the, the fish you know, can swim in behind, and right now the fish have all this room in the front, and he can go in the back too, so, you know, for the people worried sometimes, like Emmanuel, 
why you know you put all the way in the back and the fish gotcha. don't have room you got you got room so. so i hear you're like me you don't have an instagram but you have one for the tank Correct. And I hear now you're answering questions all the time. Huh? They're keeping you busy. <laughs> yep. My wife created that page and uh, it's a I'm popularity, going crazy. right? Yeah, I'm going in a couple of months I got my uh, eight thousand followers. So thank you for the support and uh, what's your Instagram anyway so we can post it on this video? So my Instagram for the, all these people is all about Coro twenty twenty three. So, okay, so you can we're follow post me. The link. There you go. I prefer I appreciate it, Victor. So let me ask you a couple questions about your corals. You have a lot here. Okay. Is it safe to say that Zoanthus is your favorite coral? Zoanthus is one of the, my favorite coral, corals, I'm sorry. LPS, yes. you think it is? LPS, yes. Which yes. ones are your favorite? Like, what, is there a specific uh, type? Right here, my scallies. Your That's, scallies, huh? Yeah, I love scally. I'm like, yeah. You know. More than meat corals or trachyphilias or cinerinas? Yes, I, I love them. It's just, uh, I don't know. I don't know what the scally. The scally is something like, you can find so many shape in the, in the scally, so. They can be a little more finicky to maintain some of them, right? Not as easy. So they're easy when they take off. But... Yes, yes, that's true. I always wash them one feet. The, the fish always want to take all the food. And um, sometimes it's not open, but love this, love the scally. I love the... Me coral. Me coral, I love it. So. I mean, I see you got a couple of trackies, cinerinas. Yes. I mean, more track is here. Mm -hmm. Your little Aiken Islands. They're so happy, your Aikens, man. You the mentioned Aiken. to me that there was a fish picking. Correct. And that was my flame angel. And I just have videos on my Instagram, and it's just crazy. I have to take this tank in part, put everything in the pool, in this little swimming pool, so I can catch the freaking. When was this? That was like last week. We talked right. about. So I'm going to teach you a trick. Everyone at home, pay attention to this trick. I learned this trick from Jason Fox, so I'm not gonna claim that I'm the one who came out with this. So, fish sleep just like we do, okay? So you, you wake up at three in the morning, you turn all the lights on at 100%, blind the fish with a flashlight, and you poke him out with the fish tail. You got two minutes where the fish is completely confused. Mm. So basically, you, you wake up in the middle of the night, turn all the lights on, put a flashlight right on his face, poke him out with a little stick, and when he comes out, he's so confused, he doesn't know where he's going, and you scoop him right out with a net. Look at that. So that's good, good to know, that's good to know. It's a good trick, I've done it plenty of time, it works, but you gotta be able to wake up in the middle of the night to do it. Uh -huh. And it's gotta be pitch in the middle of the night. <laughs> it's gotta be like, you so just I walk into someone, better, lights on now, go, and you know? So you gotta be, yeah, he's gotta be, he doesn't even, that's by the time you grow he doesn't even know what happened. Yeah. So that's a good trick if you guys are watching at home. That's good, thank you. Oh, no, you're welcome, you're welcome. Buddy. He drive me crazy. That little fish drive me crazy. He was I can't sleep over it. I, I can't believe it. I'm gonna lose all my corals, but my scallies <laughs> and my aching because of one little fish. I mean, there's plenty more corals. You got frog spawns, you got torches in here, you got Montiporas, plenty yeah. of zoanthus, clove polyps, uh, lobophilias. I mean, you even got a, uh, is that a. Which one? Is that a tuba anemone back there? Yes, I got two anemone. I love crazy. them. You know they can eat fish, right? Yes, I know. All it's right. crazy. He knows. Too. We told him. <laughs> so, I know. At the beginning, I'm just, oh, it was cool. And I just purchased it too. And they're so bright, you can't resist them. They're affordable. Yes. And I noticed in the night, you know, that it's coming more wider and touch with the steam on my coral around. And that's the reason I put that's it in the back. That's why you put them back there. Yes. Uh, you got some Bangai Cardinals. You yeah. got some clownfish right here. What kind are these? Uh, this is a frost bite. Frost bite. Uh, you got three? Fish. I got four. So I don't know on. which the I, other hold one. Hold on, you got maroons in here also? I got maroon too. I got the yellow stripe maroon. And they're not fighting? No, and I got the golden. Do you so, put them together all at once? Um, I, no, I purchased the, the maroon first with the, with the yellow stripe. And uh, this one, the following day. And for the first day, start fighting. And right now, it's just like best body. He just one sleeping in there, and the other one sleeping in the other corner. So, so they all crazy. got like their own little home. Yep. Let's look at your lights. What are you using for lights? The sky, Neptune sky. Have oh three wow, I haven't seen these Neptune skies in a while. How long have you had them? Oh, um, I think like around one year. One year? Yeah, before I have the hydro, and I decided to change with this one for the purpose of the, the shade. Too much shade before with the little gotcha. ones. So, it's more of a blanket lighting. It looks more like a T5 lighting. Correct. It looks correct. beautiful, man. So I knew before I even opened here how meticulous this was going to be. <laughs> I can tell just by seeing your front yard, you're seeing your house, 
Everything just looks yeah. really, really nice, clean on point. I can see this little guard area so the fish don't jump into the overflow. Correct. And are you using those fans to keep the temperature down, I'm assuming? Correct. So you're running the skylights, the Neptune feeder. Okay, can we look some into your filtration a little yes. bit? Yes. Right there, we got the light. Wow, the we have help. a new member of the Meticulous Club. <laughs> I'm still trying to join the Meticulous Club and I don't do too good at it. I'm good at, inside the tank I can keep it amazing, but down here's like, I can't keep the sump like There's a lot of work, man. Yes, boy, well, it's, it's nice when it's clean. I don't know, I love it. It, it, it just, it's my hobby, so. All I'm, right, so it, this looks super, super impressive. Let's start with, you have a battery backup here for your power hits. Yes, correct. And you're running two MP40s for flow? from Ecotech Marine? Yes. That's the only flow that you're running, just two MP40s. Correct. Okay, cool. And then you have a Trident here to check your alkalinity. Mm-hmm, calcium, magnesium, yeah. Oh, two dose uh, dosers? Correct. And can you tell me what you're dosing with those? So I'm doing um, BRS uh, two par. Okay, Calcium, A &B. alkalinity, yes, okay. and uh, magnesium. I have the other one for uh, aminos. Aminos? I like sometimes put it uh, amino with the system. And what kind of aminos are you using? You got me right there, the yellow one. Oh, the ones from um, from Jul Agro Power? Yes. From Julian, uh, from Two Little Fishes. Yes, I had that one. It's a great product. And it's good, it's good. I see a lot of improvement. Tell me some of your parameters. So, right now, uh, 8.50 8 is gonna be my, uh, it's the alkalinity, magnesium, I'm running the 14, 1400, and uh, the calcium, 450. 450, and nitrous 20, and you 0 0.05 on the phosphates? Correct. Okay, and let's talk about water changes. Do you do water changes? So water changes I do every three weeks. Okay. And sometimes I'm, I'm just checking the nitrate. If the okay. nitrate don't go up, I don't change it. Okay, and how much it. do you try to change when you change it? 25%. 25%? Yes. And what protein schema do you have here? Uh, that one is uh, Aquamax. Aquamax? Yep. And how long have you had it? Uh, that one have like a one year and a half. You know what's cool? I've never seen this protein skimmer with that cup, with the lid cup like that, which has got a bubble at the top. Yeah. That's a different idea. It's working pretty good, I see. And what kind of pellets do you put on the pellet feeder? Man, I'm bad with the names, I'm sorry. A little bro. bit of everything, so we can yeah. show people. Yeah. So we got some Fano Marino PS pellets right here. Yeah, I got flakes. Some Ocean Nutrition Prime flakes. So you like to try a lot of different things. <laughs> yes. And hey, then. did I mess the auto things in here? I'm sorry, man. <laughs> no, you I don't want to mess your stuff. I'll fix here. it, I'll fix it later. I don't want to be in trouble, guys. <laughs> I'll fix it later. Yeah, I like to try different stuff because, uh, you know, some fish love flake. Yeah. And some fish love uh, pellet. And other one looks uh, like mice. So I'm just Just buying, a little bit of everything. Then. Yes, and see, and, and, and get better nutrition. I don't know, I'll mix it and one day, one thing or the day or the gotcha. day. One final thing to mention, I see you have like a lot of rock down there. Any specific reason for it? I believe, help me with the, um, with Extra the filtration, filtration. yes, I, I, I believe that. And the other thing is, I love when, I, when, it's, when I'm sitting in my sofa and I say, you know what, I, I can got add an it. Idea. <laughs> I can add it one rock in here. You know what, let's do it. Grab I it. know. And the, it's I already. do the same thing at my shop. I just go next door and I grab rocks. You see on the video, yes, I yes. go shopping for rocks and stuff like that. So I'm like you, it's just like, if, if, you know, if you have it right there. You don't have to wait to the rock get live. No, that was live. I'll just switch it sometime. Yeah. And, and, and that's the reason uh, I feel like it helped me. Anything else that you think they were missing about your tank? Anything else that you would like everyone to know about it? I think you mentioned everything, so... You cover everything, you think? You cover everything, all the system, all the filtration. A lot of people ask me, hey, man, when you gonna do this? Because I'm, I know the videos, uh, like, talking. You did, so now all my followers can see how this thing work and, uh, and, and see what I'm running, the light and, and, and all that stuff, so... I appreciate it. Well, you think you were answering enough questions before? Get ready, because you're going to get bombarded now. <laughs> I imagine. I have other tank over there. I don't know why you look at it later. Is it fresh or salt water? It's salt water. It's my quarantine tank. I have Achilles tank in there. Now you mentioned. Let's go look at it real quick. All right. Follow Let's do real it. Quick. Come on. Like I have this little quarantine tank in case everything get the wrong way. I put it in here. I have my treatment in there. You know what? I hope you guys are watching this. It's kind of dark in here. We're in a different room, but I hope you guys, I can appreciate this. A lot of people come to us and they expect us to we do, we receive our fish, we quarantine them in the bag, we do offer, we do offer a quarantine service. 
But ideally, this is what you should be doing. You should be quarantining your own fish and you're giving them the right environment. You're giving them the right lighting. You're giving them the right space. You're even quarantining this fish in its own box so it doesn't get attacked by the other fish. There's plenty right. of flow. So kudos to you, man. I haven't seen anybody doing this in a long time, man. So thank you. Again, yes. Manny, thanks for having us all, Thank man. you. I appreciate it, buddy. No problem. Thanks. Guys, hopefully you guys enjoyed this episode. I sure did. It's a beautiful tank. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel. Give us a like. Post some comments below. We'll see you guys on the next episode. Thank you, guys. Thanks. You like it? Woo! No sabía ni qué decir. Ya se apagó. Déjame decirte esto.